Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to prepare the night before for school with my very best after school routine tips and ideas to make sure you are totally prepared for the next morning. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of back to school content at the moment. I've got a massive playlist of back to school stuff that I will link below as well as vlogs, organization, life hacks, haul videos, speed cleans, all that kind of thing. I hope you'll love it. So the first thing I want you to do after you have finished watching this video is grab the back to school checklists. So we've already got a checklist that I talked about, which is kind of the getting supplies organized, the stock take and stuff to buy checklist that I talked about in my video where I was doing our big back to school stock take. But these printables are new. You won't have had these yet, but they are being added to my ultimate mum bundle of printable resources, which are all absolutely free when you join my parenting email club where I send out kind of goodies and printables and things every week. So we've got the night before school checklist, which is the one we're talking about in this video, but also the school morning checklist for all the bits and pieces that you need to do each morning before school. I have also linked down below these frames, which I use for so many different organizations things. I've got my kitchen organization station, I've got the children's task charts, things like that. So they are really fab. And then these pens, which are just basically whiteboard pens. So we can write directly on these to tick things off. And then at the end of each week, we can just wipe it away with a little bit of magic eraser and a cloth and start afresh. So this after school routine where we prepare for the next day is not just something we're going to do at the beginning of September. This is something we want to carry on through the whole year. So we don't just get organized, but we stay organized because the key to having a stress-free morning routine is being organized the night before. So starting when the children get home from school, encourage your children to put away their own shoes and coats. This means having storage that is easy for them to access. My children have a box each in our under the stairs unit where they can put their shoes. And then we have coat pegs that are at child height so they can hang up and get down their own coats. If you have the option to add something like this in your home, I highly recommend it because it's a really great way to encourage your children to be that little bit more independent and teach them these little organization bits and pieces when they're young so it's not such a battle when they're older. I mean, don't get me wrong, my children would rather just throw things on the floor. They still take some gentle reminding to hang things up, but it's something we're working on that becomes more of a habit the older they get. The next thing you want to do is look through those school bags. So your children come home from school, they've hung up their coats and bags. You wanna have a look what is in their bag and empty it all out. And this is something that your children can do either with you or on their own, depending upon their age. So you need to make sure any lunch boxes are taken out, any yucky food, any letters, notes to the teacher, homework. So just pull it all out so you can see exactly what you're dealing with and what needs to be done before the next day. Next step is super important, is finding all those notes. Now I am hoping that one plus side of COVID is everything is going a little bit more digital. So we're not gonna have quite so many letters coming home from schools and things. If you've seen my previous videos, I do encourage my children to put any notes from the teacher into their little folders that are clipped onto their school bags. So hopefully if you're using this system, you can just check in there for any notes, but if not, check the bottom of the bags, their coat pockets, anywhere at all. What I like to do is take a photograph of the notes and things from the school. So I've got a digital copy of those. I use an app called Evernote to do this. Everything gets saved into that app. I then put the title of the note about what it's to do with. So if it's to do with sports day or uniform or whatever it might be. And then when I need to search for that note, I've simply got it in my phone and I can dispose of the original in the recycling. This has been an absolute game changer for me over the years. It's avoided having lots of bits of scabby paper all over the place. And it means that I've got that information there when I need it. Now, if any of these notes contain any dates at all, then I 
put those directly into our family calendar. And then our family calendar is shared between family members. Everyone in the family can see exactly what's going on. So if I add in sports days or inset days or world book days or whatever it's going to be, it's in everybody's calendar. So although I do use a paper planner for work and notes and to-dos and things like that, my digital calendar for where we have to be when is an absolute game changer and I wouldn't be without it, especially as it is shared across different family members and across different devices. Next job is any homework. Now we have a rule in our house that we get homework done wherever possible the night it is given as opposed to the night before it's due in because that way if it takes a long time we've still got more time to get it sorted or if just the children are really struggling with it they're having a bit of a tough time we've got the time and the space to step away from it and go back to it another night something to fit into your children's routine after school is obviously a little bit of free time a little bit of downtime and play time whether that's outside in the garden or just playing and chilling out inside the house school can be quite taxing for children more mentally than physically and anticipate especially when your children are going back to school if you're watching this sort of when I'm making the video and they're due to go back to school after COVID and some children have had like my children have had six months off school so I'm anticipating it being quite intense and sort of a lot on their mental load and then being quite tired so allowing them to have kind of just nice chilled playtime before dinner is going to be quite important my next tip is to get all lunches organized the night before so i am planning to do a video about lunchbox hacks as well as ideas and things for lunch boxes so let me know if you fancy that video down in the comments and make sure you are subscribed too so you do not miss it but all I'm gonna say here about lunches is whether your children are having school meals or they are having packed lunches, get organized the night before. So any dry items that don't need to be refrigerated can be put directly into your children's lunch boxes the night before. Any sandwiches or anything that needs to be refrigerated, make it the night before and pop it in the fridge. Allocate one area of your fridge to put those bits and pieces and then all you've got to do as part of your morning routine is pop the refrigerated stuff in with the stuff that's already there. You're not scrambling around in the morning thinking, where's this, where's that, we've run out of this. Ah! Preparing lunches the night before is an absolute game changer for having much calmer mornings. Now, if your children don't have packed lunches and they're having school meals or school dinners or hot dinners or whatever they're called in your school, make sure the night before that your children's school meal account or you've given them enough money or however it works where you are to pay for those school dinners is all topped up and organized in the night not in the morning. Next step in our evening routine is a family meal. Now my husband and I have gone through phases of eating after the children, eating much later, but now we do all sit down and eat together. This is easier for two reasons. First of all, I only have to actually cook once. I'm cooking one meal and we're all eating it. So it's only one set of cooking and one set of clearing up, which obviously makes life easier. But secondly, it's a really nice opportunity for us all to get together as a family and sit down and talk about our days, what's happening, how we're feeling about things, what's going on in school, if there are any concerns. And often these concerns will come out at meal times while we're chatting with the children. So if you can make time to sit and eat with your children, even if you're not eating with them, if you sit with them while they eat, it's a good time to learn a little bit more about their days. I've actually got a blog post with 50 ideas for getting your children to talk to you and tell you a little bit more about their days. Next top tip for having smoother mornings by getting organized the night before is to organize breakfast the night before. So whatever breakfast looks like in your family, we try and keep breakfast pretty simple and the children tend to have on a school day morning, cereal and some form of fruit and a drink. Rather than doing more elaborate things, I know some people prefer more elaborate breakfasts, but I personally, with lots of them and it being quite a rush in the mornings, like to keep it simple. So you can go as far as putting out bowls and spoons, but most specifically, if you are offering your children an option for breakfast, make them choose the night before rather than dithering all morning. You could even put that box of cereal out ready. You could 
involve your children in this and even if you are doing a more elaborate breakfast than we do just decide what it's going to be the night before make sure you've got everything there and ready so you can just get up and get on with it in the morning my next tip is to get all of your clothes organized the night before now i actually go so far as to organize the children's clothes for the whole week on the weekends i've talked about this in several of my videos we have a school uniform hanging system for the little ones with five different slots and in each slot we put everything they need to wear for that day so the girls have their socks their vests their pants their pinafores their polo tops cardigans everything all in a slot so all they do is pull out everything from one slot and put on everything from that slot i've tried lots of different ways of working the school uniform and this has by far worked best for our family now if you can get all of this done on the weekend like we do then that's fantastic i do have five of everything and we are able to get uniform in a pretty affordable way because I can buy it from supermarkets and things. And I find that in the long run, it kind of works out as pretty good value because if we've got five of everything, everything wears out a little bit less quickly. So I'm less likely to have to replace things through the year. So that works for us. I know some people find that their school uniform is a lot more expensive. They have to buy much more expensive blazers or buy it from specific places. So if you can't do the buying the five items because you are restricted by those costs which must be an absolute nightmare i would suggest making it part of every single evening routine while i organize the children's uniform on the weekends i do take a glance at it just to check it's all kind of there and in place and they haven't pinched something from one of the slots and it's missing for the morning so we do still check it even though we don't like lay it out the night before but for me i also choose my own clothes the night before i have a special hook inside my wardrobe as i shared in my recent wardrobe tour and wardrobe organization hacks video so if you haven't seen that video do go and check that out later so i have this hook and i hang on there everything i need to wear in the morning it avoids me kind of dithering in the mornings i know i've previously been able to waste a lot of time dithering over not sure what to wear or can't find things so choosing it all the night before really helps to make my mornings go much more smoothly next i would suggest having a little bit of wind down time after dinner with your children i would avoid having overly bright lighting during this time so i'm not suggesting you make it super dark but we do know that having lots of very artificial bluey kind of lights and screens and things can really impact our sleep so if you can kind of use more kind of off center lighting you can change things like ipads to a night mode setting so it reduces the blue light emissions and makes everything a bit more yellowy so if you are allowing your children to use any screens or anything during this time then make sure that those settings are on i have got a blog post which i will link which explains all of this and all the different tips to sort of help your children sleep a little better so make sure you check that out if your children sleeping is something you're struggling with winding down time and if at all possible if you can avoid screens at this time then that's amazing but this winding down time will really help make your evenings go smoothly into bedtimes and then ultimately your children will be less cranky in the mornings and it will all go more smoothly for you then too then after bathing and teeth or hair wash whatever it might be do make sure you get that done the night before by the way leaving things like showering to the morning just adds a whole other section of time a block of time another something to go wrong basically so i would always bath and shower my children in the evenings and then obviously clean their teeth and get them all snugly and ready for bed and then it's time for stories or reading so whether that's reading to your small children sharing books and getting your children to read to you as they get a little bit older or independent reading for older children it is really good to incorporate reading into every day it helps them wind down a little bit before bed but also it's just helping their overall literacy by incorporating that into your routine then another thing i would recommend doing before you settle down for the evening is make sure that you are 
setting alarms for the morning. I go into this in more detail in my school morning routine videos, but basically we have an alarm, not just to get up, but an alarm for when it's time for breakfast that really kind of jolts us like, right, okay, we should be going down now, for when it's time to put breakfast away and clean teeth, and then when it's time to put shoes and coats on and actually leave the house. So by having these alarms, it kind of just reminds you, oh, it's that time already. So if the children are a little ahead of schedule and they're playing, it means they can stop, put away their things, and get ready to leave. My children are actually starting school on the 1st of September. I will be vlogging their first day back to see how that goes. Obviously, I think as many people in the country are feeling, I am feeling like I have massively mixed emotions about sending them back. I'm really excited them to get back to some level of normality. Equally, it feels a little bit scary. I think I think we're all feeling that, aren't we? Just very mixed emotions about how I'm desperate for them to go back to school and to have some normality, but what is normality these days? I think we're all feeling a little bit uneasy. So if you're feeling that too, sending big, big hugs out to you. Then later in the week, I will be vlogging our kind of after school evening routine. So hopefully you can see some of the tips that I've shared just now implemented and hopefully going terribly smoothly thank you so much for watching if you have liked this video please give it a huge thumbs up do not forget to subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday at 7 pm my latest video is just across here and another video you may enjoy from my channel is just down here i'll see you guys soon bye